What to do when you have an issue with a PC case, but you can't seem to get help. What's going on guys today here once again as you guys know i recently did a bill for my girlfriend that has an nzst h1 case and recently there was a recall on them i reached out to nzst themselves i sent the email sent the contact info that's needed to be sent everything that was requested i have yet to hear back from them i haven't gotten an email response i haven't gotten a hey we need your address to send the parts that you need in order to fix this issue i haven't got any of that so i decided to try and take matters into my own hands so first thing I did was go online and did a little bit of research. Coming to find out the issue itself was stemming from the riser cart in the case itself. It turns out there are two screws on the riser cart. So I went around to try and find some nylon screws to replace these two metal screws that are in the case. I went to Best Buy, no nylon screws. I went to Home Depot and they had the screws, just not the right size. I then went to Lowe's and Lowe's, they never have anything. I don't even know why I try Lowe's most of the time, but no nylon screws there as well. So I thought in my head, instead of waiting for a response for God knows how long, because I have no idea why I'm gonna get a response and this computer needs to be used, why not just use good old fashioned zip ties or tweezers as the verge like to call them. So with that said, I'm gonna show you how to do a little quick fits until you get a response or find screws yourself. This way you can continue to use your computer. All right, so here's the beauty herself. As we can see, a ZXT H1. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, sorry H1, I know I didn't take you out, but I gotta undress you. So as we can see, the graphics card is here. This is the riser card component that's causing the issue right here. I gotta get my old tools here, old trusty, as you can see, and I fix it. So now that we're all unscrewed, we can go out and take out the graphics card. There you go. All right. Like so. Oh, you're such a good baby. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see from there, so I'll bring you in closer. As you can see, there's a screw here, and there's also a screw here. So we need to replace those in order to prevent this from happening to our cases. So you should only need one of these, just so you know. Um, these are not tweezers, once again, these are zip ties. Let's go ahead and get this in. Ooh, that's tight. That's what she's saying. All right, second one out. Try tweezer baby coming in hot. All right, that is all done. All right, now we just gotta cut away the excess here. One. And two. All right, so I'm bringing you guys in here just so y'all can see exactly what I did. As you can see, I put the zip tie right in here in the hole between the two, the steel chassis part as well as the riser card part. And then I did the same thing for the bottom one here. Make sure you uh, get them in really tight, but have enough so you can like cut away at it when you get the replacement. They're in pretty tight, so it's not gonna move. There is a little bit of wiggle room, but once you get everything in there and tight, well, screw down that is, it'll be all right. So it's all back together now, as you can see. So 
So hopefully this video helped you to get a quick fix for your NZXT H1 case. I hope it helps you out. It's not gonna boil up or anything, don't worry. It's completely fine, this plastic zip ties are 100% safe. They're not tweezers once again, thank you to Bird. If you liked and enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. Also feel free to leave a comment down below if you're dealing with this issue or something similar, maybe I can help you out. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. Or if you wanna wait for new content to see what I'm doing before you subscribe, that's perfectly fine too. I'll see you guys later.